Hey everyone. So today we have an unboxing for the Drop Fleet Commander two player starter set. A previous video I mentioned that I had ordered this through a UK dealer because I couldn't find it here in the States. A uh, little bit of a backstory on that one. So I found someone on eBay that was selling it, purchased it on a Friday hadn't shipped come the following Tuesday so I emailed the guy and he basically said that they have a computer program that covers their eBay ads and they thought they had one in stock and they didn't so they refunded me so I was like okay well that's you know four or five days down the drain so I found another guy on eBay uh, a little bit closer to where I'm located and the exact same thing happened um, I'm I have absolutely no idea how I got that crap of luck for pretty much seven days worth of time I was able to buy this twice and then be sold out without realizing they were sold out so finally I said screw it let me go to the origin of manufacturers if you don't know uh, drop fleet commander is produced in the UK so I went to a UK seller bought the item the item was supposed to be delivered uh, last Friday and it just didn't show up so I was like what the heck this is this is I, I don't understand what's going on and so I contacted the guy Friday night because you know after at once UPS USPS and FedEx you know they're pretty much done in my area around 6 so about 7 I contacted him to find out that the box that it was shipped in was damaged and so it was returned to the seller to be repackaged and he had absolutely no idea that that was the case like it just showed up wherever his shipping facility was from or however he shipped from and it just sat there for two weeks uh, so really really frustrated with that so finally I was able to find an online seller uh, in Texas that was capable of sending this to me really really quickly so I could get this video made and get more content content up for you guys so I purchased this uh, Saturday morning and it arrived today in the post so yeah long story short this box set was the bane of my existence for almost a month so um, let's go ahead and get everything cut off get this cellophane off and we will uh, go from there all right so hopefully cutting the cellophane wrap off will also knock down the glare a little bit because this is a really really cool looking box so go ahead and cut that off Whoa. All right, just throw everything on the ground. Okay, man, this is actually a pretty hefty box too. I like it. So this is your front, and doesn't look like the glare is really gonna go away. Sorry guys, I got some weird lighting going on in here. So uh, I really like this this battle scene it's between the Scourge and UCM. Uh, from what I understand from the research on this picture because you know looking it up and trying to find this box and whatnot so there's actually like CGI ships in here but there's also superimposed models mixed inside this uh, in this scene um, it's actually pretty neat that they that they did it that way so that's the front and we'll go ahead and flip it over to the back and so this is everything that comes in the box. We'll actually pop it open and, and show everything off. But So you get a starter fleet for UCM, a starter fleet for Scourge, 
your rule book and uh, pretty much all the tokens and information and stuff that you need. Uh, looks like dice and a little a measuring tape, then a map and all of your objective uh, markers and stuff like that. So, alrighty. So let's go ahead and flip this back over and we will pop it open, go through what's in the box real fast, and then we'll take a closer look at everything once we have it completely out. So starting off, you have your rule book, which is pretty nice. Um, this is actually, uh, it's, it comes in a sleeve. So if you wanna be able to put this on like a, uh, um, a bookshelf, I can't believe I just completely spaced on what a bookshelf was. But anyway, um, if you wanted to put this on a bookshelf or whatnot, since the rule book itself is kind of, it's, it's long, because it's, it's in landscape, kind of like uh, Battlefleet Gothic was. And so with this sleeve, it lets you be able to, to put it on a bookshelf or whatnot a little bit easier. So it looks like the, the map and most of the documentation is actually with the, uh, the rule book. So we'll take a closer look at that. Set that off to the side. Uh, you got a little baggie here. It's got, uh, looks like all your flight stands and uh, your dice and then a Hawk uh, measuring tape. So, and then your starter sets. So on this side, you got your Scourge and on this side, you've got your UCM. So it comes all bagged up for the starter and you got your bases on the back there. And then the same for uh, the scourge. So, all right, that was that's pretty much all that comes in the box. Uh, give me one second. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the uh, the pieces, get them all kind of spread out, and we'll look at the contents of the box individually, so you guys can see everything that's going on. All right, guys. So we're back. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the rule book for uh, this portion of the unboxing. Uh, it is actually, it's, it's got cellophane and whatnot on it too, and then it's got all of the pertinent information that comes with the two-player starter. So go ahead and cut into this to get this cellophane out of there. I try my hardest not to actually cut the rule book. All right. So slide this out. Everything on the ground. All right. So we're gonna slide the rule book aside for a sec. We'll get this out of the way. So this is just the pertinent information style stuff that you're gonna need for. So this is your UCM. Uh, basically, it's your sticker sheet. So this is. Uh, basically what's going to be used to make the bases for the models. So you've got the UCM here and then the Scourge here. And what's really neat is they give you these little stickers that you can put on the bases too to um, basically name your ships. And then they give you a couple of blank ones if you want to write your own ship name. So that's pretty cool. Set that aside. Um, here are your basically your quick start guide to the um, starter set. So this is what they recommend you build using this starter set. And then these are the rules that go along with that build. So you get one for UCM and one for Scourge. Uh, I plan on building these starter sets based off of these. Uh, just so from what my my understanding is that it, it helps you learn the game a little better to start that way So that's the that's the route that I'm gonna go All right, so then you've got um, Looks like these are the objectives so part of the game is uh, Basically you're fighting over sectors and clusters for various reasons and uh that's basically how you score victory points and stuff like that besides killing your, your, your opponent. Um, then you've got 
looks like some debris fields down here and you get two of these they look yeah they're they're mirrors so they're the exact same thing um, they're pretty high quality when it comes to the visual of them however that's really flimsy cardstock so I'm not sure how long these would last um, if you play this a lot um, they it actually I mean you can see it's they're there it's probably as about uh, as, as thick as some playing cards so right, set those aside and then you've got uh, some your tokens so these are your your various uh, tokens for your sectors and your clusters and then you've got your ground combat tokens and stuff like that this is a little bit thicker cardboard but you're definitely going to need to be a little cautious when you're when you're using these because they they can fold pretty easily it looks like all right uh, then you've got your activation cards for the recommended starters uh, fleet for scourge and UCM uh, these are used for which um, uh, which battle group is going to activate there's some initiative things that go along with these and whatnot so we'll get into that a little bit later um, when when we actually start playing this game right. and then next up you've got your instructions um, so the frigates and the cruisers that come with this set which we'll get to in a little bit are all multi-part models so when you when you're building your frigates you actually have multiple uh, multiple frigates that you can build and there's there's instructions on how to put the base together so that's cool and you get them for the UCM frigates the UCM cruisers the uh, scourge 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 frigates um, and then the scourge uh, cruisers so, and then looks like a uh, scenario to kind of teach you how to play maybe, looks like. And then a kind of a guide to the rules, to the actual turn sequence card. That's, that's actually gonna come in handy. All right, so slide those off. And then it comes with uh, actual mats to play with. I'm not gonna be able to really get this into in camera because they're like, I think they're three feet by three feet or four feet by four feet or something along those lines. But I mean, it's just a, it's basically a poster, and I mean, it really actually is a poster. So, <laughs> um, we'll go ahead and take a little bit look at the other one too. So this one. Looks like it's got some snowy areas, uh, and then this one looks like it's got some water uh, stuff to it, like so. Um, yeah, all right, so now that we've kind of ran down and looked at the, the little bit of gaming aids that was attached to the rule book, let's go ahead and pop open the rule book, and we'll take a look at that. So. Here is the rule book. Um, like I was saying, it's in this sleeve, so it's easier to put on a bookshelf. Uh, and it just, it slides, slides on the, on. Oh my God, this rule book is actually rather, rather heavy. So, <laughs> I like it. Um, it's actually really, this front cover is really good quality. I like it. So, this picture right here, um, it looks like it's the, the side of a, a UCM uh, frigate or cruiser of some kind. Uh, that is actually part of the, of the cover. However, the, this portion, the Hawk and the core rulebook and the Drop Fleet Commander is actually raised. Um, it actually feels really nice. I like it. <laughs> so, um, the assistant wants to touch. So... Um, yeah, and it's 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 a really pretty rule book from what I've seen online. This is actually the first time I've I've looked at this rule book in in person. 
and I actually been able to touch it and it smells good <laughs> you got that board game smell so uh, there's a lot of fluff in the uh, background here uh, I believe the rules don't start until like page 30 something so yeah so the rules don't start until page 32 so there's a lot of good fluff in the beginning of the book which is nice and then you know and then it just goes through your rules um, which I'm going to probably be reading for the rest of the night because I'm really excited to finally have a rule book for this game so and then you know it breaks down your factions you're, you got some scenarios in here um, and then like I was saying for faction wise it talks about your various ships and stuff and then here's your UCM and it gives you what the UCM comes with so it's all your stats and how much the models cost for the game itself uh, in a later video we'll go over sh uh, how to actually build an army um, it can be a little confusing for your first go but um, yeah, this rule book is freaking fantastic. There's a quick look at uh, some battle, uh, a battleship and a battle cruiser for Scourge. They're actually really pretty looking. So, all right. So that is pretty much all the documentation that we've got with the game. So we looked at the gaming aids, and then here's the rule book. Um, so I will be right back. We were going to. Uh, grab one of the actual starter sets and tear into that so we can look at the sprues so uh give me one sec all right so we're back uh, i've got the ucm portion of the two-player starter right here uh, the it is a, just basically a regular starter that you can get outside of the two-player starter so it comes with three cruisers and four frigates um you the so three cruiser sprues uh you can build one cruiser Per sprue, um, I'll set a couple of these aside because we only really need one. They're all the same. Uh, one of the caveats to the cruiser sprue is that there are there's a couple of models, or at least one model for sure, that uh, you need pieces. Yeah, two. So the Moscow, Moscow, excuse me, and the uh, Saint Petersburg need. Uh, weapons from another sprue in order to build so that's something to, to take into effect there um, and then with the frigate sprue you can build four frigates per sprue but a caveat with that is you can only build two of the same class frigate off of one sprue so if you wanted to build two limas and two new orleans you could um, however you, you're not going to be able to build three new orleans off of one sprue so keep that in mind when you guys are looking at this. So we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at those here in a second. I just want to get the bases out of the way. Okay, so it just comes with a basic base sprue. So it has the uh, four bases for your frigates and then the three bases here. And one of them fell off. So we'll set those aside. Uh, we'll take a look at those. In more detail in another video so let's look at the frigate sprue real quick so we'll slide this off to the side so it's not in the way and then uh, so these are plastic uh, miniatures that come in the starter set uh, they're not as detailed as their resin counterparts however the quality is still top-notch from the various games that I've played the scale that they put these things in and then the the attention to making the models look authentic uh, helps with the quality uh, I'll show you what I mean on the cruiser sprue here in a second so this is a real quick look at all of the pieces um, so with this sprue uh, most of the pieces that are on it for the UCM, they're snap fit. So they're capable of, you basically can put these models together without needing any glue, which helps those people that don't really quite know what they want to build yet. Um, I'm most likely going to go that route um, 
just not gluing anything. I'll use the recommended two player starter um, kit sheet that came with it that shows what you should run for your first few games. I just, I'm probably not gonna glue these together just in case I don't like that, that uh, setup. So, okay, so here is the cruiser sprue. And like I was saying, you can build one cruiser from this sprue. And then if you're gonna build the Moscow or the St. Petersburg, you need parts from a second sprue. So this is just a real quick rundown. So, and then real quick, while I was mentioning earlier in uh, the last portion when we were talking about the, the frigates is this right here is, so this is a portion of the miniature that shows the wings basically of the cruiser and if you decide to make the seattle class fleet carrier um i believe that's what it's called i know it's the seattle yeah it is a fleet carrier but um so those are little bombers and fighters in there and you, the uh piece that you use to make basically the flight deck where they take off like the little runway portion uh it actually yeah this piece right here so those bombers if you paint them will uh, show through and it is I think that is really neat uh, a small attention to detail for a plastic miniature that just kind of makes the um, makes the model higher quality in a sense so um, yeah and that, that's pretty much it for this so you get the, like I said, you get the three cruiser sprues, one frigate sprue in the bases, and then of course the starter set also came with all of the stickers and stuff that you need for the bases, and then a giant bag of flight stands and the little pegs that you glue in the bottom of this, uh, or in the bottom of the ships, so that you can um, uh, be able to actually put them on the flight stands. So uh, that was a real quick look at the starter set that came for UCM for the two-player starter. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the Scourge. So I'll be right back. All right, so we're back. Uh, we have the Scourge portion of the two-player starter set here in front of us now. Uh, just like in the UCM, it comes with one frigate sprue and uh, three cruiser sprues. I'll go ahead and set a couple of these aside real fast. We're not gonna need all of those. Uh, it also comes with the bases, of course, and it's actually pretty funny. When I was moving this over here, the the same base from the UCM starter fell off of the frame for the Scourge starter. I don't know. I'm easily amused, guys. So, all right, so you got your cruiser sprue and uh, your frigate sprue. What I really like about the Scourge is that they are, um, they're, a lot of the little fins that come on here that act as the wings are really poseable. Um, they're ball and socket joints, so you can basically make the ship look to a certain degree as flared out or compact as you want it. Um, for the cruiser sprue, there's no restriction like there was on the UCM where you need pieces from a second sprue. However, the um, two class of frigates is still a restriction for the frigate sprue. You can't make more than two of the same ship per, per sprue. Um, so we'll go ahead and take a look at the frigates first. I'll slide this off to the side real fast. So this is the Scourge frigate. So those are the bodies right there. And then all of your pieces that you need flanking it flip it over to the other side all right so that's the frigate sprue set that off to the side too all right so now we have the cruiser sprue um, this one's a little bit more busy and I'm not quite familiar with what these, all these pieces are actually, 
uh, where they go and pertains to the actual model, like what's the starting body and all that kind of stuff. I haven't uh, put any of these together yet. And this is actually uh, Cat's faction, so I probably won't be putting any of these together because she'd probably murder me if I did that for her. Alright, that's a quick look at that. Alright, and so, uh, and then just like I mentioned about the UCM, uh, it does come with the flight stands and the, uh, the actual little pegs that go in the bottom and the stickers and whatnot for the base uh, that is included. Uh, and then, of, uh, I didn't mention it, but it does come with assembly instructions. We saw that earlier in the video, so you won't actually get lost when it comes to putting these together uh, but yeah there's a there's a quick look at the scourge uh, portion of the two-player starter so I'll be right back all right guys so that was a real quick look at the drop fleet commander two-player starter set uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here uh, I plan on making more videos. We're going to be doing a assembly and painting video for uh, the UCM for sure. Um, I will have to see if I can convince uh, my assistant here if she's willing to do videos for the scourge and painting on camera. So yeah. we will uh, we will see. Um, but yeah. So go ahead and look forward to that. Uh, it'll probably be over the course of two or three more videos. So, all right, guys. You all have a good one. Thanks for watching.